In an AS350B3, which is equipped with a single-bodied hydraulic system, there are two hydraulic tests that are performed after every start. These tests ensure that the hydraulic system is operating properly and that there will be sufficient accumulator pressure after a hydraulic failure to maneuver the helicopter. The first test is the accumulator check. This check evaluates whether there is sufficient accumulator pressure to either land the helicopter if in an in-ground effect hover or to adjust the airspeed to 40 to 60 knots if in a flight profile. For both the 2B and the 2B1 models, the test is now performed at idle. The first step of the test is to remove the cyclic friction and to ensure the collective is locked. The hide test or AccuTest push button is then depressed. The left hand is then brought back to guard the collective. The hydraulic warning light then illuminates, or if modification 073317 is installed, the hydraulic light will flash. The cyclic is then moved forward and aft two to three times and left and right two to three times. During these movements, there should be no loss of hydraulic boost. The pedals are then checked to ensure that the yaw load compensator accumulator pressure has been removed. The hydraulic test or AccuTest push button is then disengaged and the hydraulic warning light should extinguish. The second test is the isolation check. This check ensures that the system can be disabled and that the yaw load compensator is properly pressurized after a hydraulic failure. The first step is to again ensure that the collective is locked. The hydraulic cutoff switch is then engaged. Force feedback is immediately felt in the controls and the hydraulic warning light then illuminates. The cyclic is then moved forward and aft once and left and right once to ensure that control movements can be made after a hydraulic failure. The pedals are then checked to ensure that the yaw load compensator accumulator remains pressurized. The hydraulic cutoff switch is then re-engaged. The hydraulic warning light should extinguish between 3 and 4 seconds, no more, no less. The hydraulic checks are now complete and should take only approximately 25 seconds to perform. Performing these checks every day will ensure that you have a properly operating and maintained hydraulic system.